Guys, new stock is forming new 52-week lows after Tesla did its most insane price cut ever here in China. Li Auto is also doing massive price cuts. Their stock, Li Auto stock, is down 7% pre-market today as of recording this video. What the hell is going on and why is NIO so reluctant to do price cuts to boost demand and sales? I'm going to be explaining everything in this video. Is there still hope for investors? What can we look forward to? So what happened? Back in March, Tesla announced that in April, they will be increasing the prices of their Model Y by 5,000 RMB, which is roughly about 800 US dollars. Of course, that was to spur demand and sales back in March. But here in April, they did the price increase and sales have suffered greatly. In April, people are just not buying their cars. They've seen a 50%, almost 50% week over week drop in weekly deliveries. So it's just not doing good. So just today, they announced a 14,000 RMB, roughly 2,000 US dollar price cut to all their vehicle models. And that's bringing their cars to the lowest, cheapest price ever here in china all right so buying a model y right now is the cheapest it has ever been okay so well clearly they're they're trying to get their numbers back up after job cuts after all the uh bs that's happening with tesla cyber truck recalls what the hell right this is more bad news for tesla lee auto also did price cut on all their L series hybrid models by 20,000 RMB, which is about uh, a little over uh, 2,000 US dollars, around 2,500 US dollars, all right, for all their uh, L series models. But then also the Li Auto Mega got a 30,000 RMB price reduction, a price cut. That is around almost like 4,000 US dollars in, in, uh, in price decrease. Okay, so this is this is pretty significant, and what Li Auto is doing is they're protecting the interest of their existing customers that have already bought the car, so they're offering a refund for the difference. That's crazy, right? So everybody that bought a Li Auto Mega uh, since it, it was launched, they're getting thirty thousand RMB being deposited into their bank account, and that's crazy that's crazy that's uh well some other companies have also done that i told they've done that as well but yeah you can see how insane things are what about neo well neo has always said that they will not do price cuts neo ceo is very adamant about that he said it will never happen we want to protect the interest of our owners even Back last year in June when they did that price adjustment where they removed free battery swap and during the process, because you don't have that perk, we're going to say that perk was worth 30,000 RMB uh, or roughly about uh, 4,000 US dollars. We're going to lower the cost of the car by that amount, 4,000 US dollars, but you do not get free battery swap anymore. Of course, you, you know there's still like uh, free battery swap vouchers and stuff like that. But that's an indirect price cut. This is one of their ways to do a price cut. But even that got a lot of backlash because the starting prices decreased. You know, secondhand sale prices, you know, of course, is going to drop as well. Uh, th it doesn't matter if you're providing free battery swap or not, no perk or yes perk. The secondhand prices have dropped. And that also pissed off quite a few new owners as well. But that's understandable. But Neo CEO seems to be always adamant that we should not piss off our existing customers because they are the bloodline for Neo because over 70% of Neo sales are from recommendations. All right. So if you piss off the people recommending your car, they're less likely to recommend the car. So they always, uh, Neo has always placed customers first, which I think is very nice. However, uh, clearly, the market condition right now is completely different than what it was one or two years ago, okay? There is there is demand for NEO. People want to buy a NEO, okay? Uh, each sales rep has a ton of customers that want to buy a NEO, but they want 
a good deal. All right. And with all the price cuts happening, people are more taking the approach that, hey, you know, uh, maybe you're going to do price cuts later on. So we might as well wait and see. Right. Hmm? People want to buy NEOs. There's massive demand. OK, if there's a inventory card that pops up, that gets snatched away in as little as two minutes, according to the sales reps. So clearly there's demand, but Neo is just, you know, they're keeping prices high. You see, Neo is offering all sorts of perks and stuff to make their cars more of a bang for the buck without cutting prices, like giving away a new phone that's cost 6,500 RMB, giving away all these perks and, and all this freebies and all these stuff. You know, this was a tactic that Liotto used last year. All right, and it saw great success. And Neil, you know, they're, they're seeing decent success as well. But still, Neil's vehicles are extremely sensitive to, to price, price cuts. All right. The CEO being so adamant about not cutting prices because he doesn't want to backstab new owners. I understand that. But guys, they got to just do it, man. We're, we're in completely different territory. But at the same time, you know, Neil's CEO said that the Envo car... Uh, that's going to be the car for everybody. So that's also a reason why they're not cutting prices. They're not, they don't want to like compete with Envo. I mean, if they cut prices even more, that's going to make Envo really, really awkward. Like, do you choose an Envo or you choose a Neo if they're at the same price? That's just defeats the purpose of a sub brand. So they're keeping the prices up high for now. And well, what can we expect as Neo shareholders for Neo? Can we expect uh, Neil to finally throw in the towel and announce price cuts uh, out of desperation. It could be totally possible, but with the sub brand launch, you know, they probably are going to be waiting and they don't want to invade that territory. But remember, at the same time, right, with the 150 kilowatt hour battery pack, there's also the 50 kilowatt hour battery pack that's also going to be like an indirect price cut as well, making the car cheaper to purchase. Uh, straight up so that is also a solution but looking at it now you know the et5 i know you guys said the et5 was supposed to be like uh, the savior for neo supposed to deliver over ten thousand per per month and that is of course possible if there wasn't a sort of a price war situation like right now right now i mean like these guys tesla they're so cutthroat these all these other companies there's just way too many cars on the market, right? And remember, Neo still has a very good market share, 45% of the premium EV market share. Relative speaking, they're doing still doing quite well, but everybody's cutting prices and Neo's staying still. Offering these incentives are very nice, but I think it is time, all right, it is time to offer uh, price cuts. And I think uh, with the ba bass adjustment, you know, lowering the price of bass, that made the car cheaper. All right, that was really nice, but also just in general, man, in general, lower the cost of everything by 20,000, sort of like what Liotto's doing. You got to follow the trend, all right? Otherwise, it's going to it's gonna slap you on the face. You know, this is, of course, going to hurt everybody's profitability going forward with these all these massive price cuts. Neo cutting prices would also really hurt Neo's profitability outlook in the future, but some of you guys have said, that Neo should sort of, sort of do what uh, what Costco is doing. Um, you know, sell the products at a very cheap price, like barely with low margins, but offer like a, you know a, a annual fee. And somebody said that Bass could be like that. And if you combine that with battery swap privileges, that really, really, really does make sense. So they could also be looking to that, but really. Everything hinders on the sub brand right now. Okay, everything hinders on the sub brand right now. The price cuts, man, this is just absolutely crazy. Absolutely crazy. It's, it might get even crazier. All right, it might get even crazier. It never really makes sense for Tesla Model Y, which is quite an old car by now. All right, it's been around for five years to still be selling that well, but it's all supported by the imagery of. You know, Tesla being a very fantastic company and 
American luxurious company. It's got that image, but in reality, is it actually, all right? And also, the car is cheap, all right? The car is cheap, relatively affordable. Ah, man, this is a sucker punch. Hopefully, Neo can adapt as well, find ways to offer a good deal. People are, there's high demand, all right? Maybe even make more cars uh, into inventory cars. That's really going to help sales as well. All right. As always, stay safe, stay healthy. Peace out.